So we got something a little bit different for you today. This is Uday. This is an Android operating system, well, an Android custom ROM that focuses on privacy and security. If you've ever used an Android phone, you've probably noticed whether it be a Samsung, even OnePlus, LG, uh, Yahweh, any of those types of phones are gonna be bloated with a whole bunch of garbage that you do not need on your phone. And even some carriers such as T-Mobile puts bloatware on your phones. And depending on who you are, you may even consider Google services bloat, something that you don't want on your phone. And this might be the perfect solution for you. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is talking about this custom Android OS. We're gonna be touching on the company that pushes it out. And before we get too far, I do want to say thank you to you, Dave, for sending me this cheaper, uh, Samsung phone to go ahead and try this out on so I do thank you all for that So on the Uday website They say that it is an Android operating system that focuses on getting rid of the Google snitches uh, But what I would say it is a de Google fied Android operating system in the time I've been using it I have not logged into any of my Google accounts at all and I have quite a few different apps that you would think you would need to do that. Uh, I have Snapchat working and it's been reported that that doesn't work on this, but it works fine for me. I have Twitter up and running just fine. And I've actually used this quite a bit to watch various YouTube videos. So even though it is a de-Google-fied phone, you can use a lot of the Google services. And one of the things that does help out with that, even though I have not actually signed into it, is called Micro G. And what MicroG is, is a non-Google application that allows you to sign into Google services and use applications that absolutely require those services. An example of that would be something like YouTube Studio, because I tried to download and install it, but it just wouldn't work unless if I signed into a Google account on the phone and I had those Play services running in the background. Now, one of the beautiful things about Uday OS is it's completely free and open source software, and that is because it is built off of Lineage OS. Now, Lineage OS is awesome because it expands functionalities of the phones and uh, overall it expands their lifespan. So it really does help cut down on e-waste and it makes it really easy to refurbish phones and have them functioning very, very well for how old and low spec they might actually be. So with that, let's go ahead and jump on the phone real quick and check out some of these pre-installed applications. So like most phones, they'll have your basic stopwatch, calendar, calculator, but one application I really like is called Carnet. This is an open source note-taking application that reminds me a lot of Google Keep with the overall formatting, how checking things off works, things like that. Scrolling down, you can see everything you'd expect, such as files, contacts, email, and more. Magic Earth is the mapping application that works offline and you'll need to download the maps that you need but there are no tracking or really anything like that additionally they have a PDF viewer music and a simple but awesome updating utility here you can see that I am running version 1.2 and this was updated in late May now the camera app that comes with the phone is super simple but it works great overall and this is the same with the gallery application that is included in the phone Everything just works super smooth, it's super buttery, and literally everything you're touching is open source. Additionally, we have two different app stores on this phone. We have FDroid, which only pushes completely free and open source applications that you could go ahead and download on your phone. And then we have the Aurora Store, which is a non-Google Google Play Store, basically. It's still downloading applications from the Google Play Store servers, but you're not actually using Google services on your phone to go ahead and download those. So even like I said earlier, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all these applications I went ahead and actually downloaded, I downloaded through the Aurora store without linking a Google account to the phone. Now, as far as a web browser, they have their own branded Uday web browser. And this is basically a fork of Firefox with some extended privacy functionalities and ad blocking. I haven't downloaded any other web browsers and so far this one has been doing a very good job. Does exactly what it says it does. I use Firefox on a daily basis on my personal smartphone and it's the same thing. It's great overall. And now that we covered a bulk of what is on the phone and what kind of comes with Lineage OS anyway, let's take a look at the two Uday applications 
applications that come specifically with the phone. The first one, it's not that big of a deal. It's their news application. And what this is going to give you is like change logs, feature changes, any news that relates to their operating system you're going to be able to find on here. But they also have a FAQ section, which is going to give you some of the uh, frequently asked questions, which if you're trying to learn about it, you could go ahead and jump through. They have a who we are, why you're a, where does their income come from, which by the way, they don't make any money actually pulling because a lot of the ways a lot of these companies make money is through the data and they don't pull any data or anything from you. All their revenue comes from selling refurbished phones just like this one. Now with that said, probably the most important application on this phone is simply called Yaday. This is their protection tool and what this is is kind of a system-wide ad blocker that acts as a middleman in between all the data coming in and out of your device. And this tool uses an open source blacklist to figure out recipients that it's going to strictly block any data flowing in and out of. Any communications with anybody blacklisted is automatically blocked, but you can go through and unblock things if you do need to. And just in my instance, the short time I've been using this phone, you can see in all time I've had over 63,000 different block requests from 104 of the blacklisted recipients. And just that number, 63,000 in two weeks, that is a crazy amount of requests to receive my data. And a cool thing about this is if I go to reports, I can see who is responsible for this. And the main culprit here is going to be Instagram. Instagram, I didn't even log in, but it is constantly, if I go over here to stream, you can see the last amounts or the last requests and graph.instagram.com is constantly trying to ping out data. So on any other phone, I wouldn't have known that Instagram is constantly trying to get data in or out of my phone but because of this i now know that they are a huge culprit to doing that and we can see we also have some google ad services some typical things uh, if i keep scrolling we can see the snapchat api if we go down further we can see some of the twitter api stuff um, but under report this is where you can go ahead and get some more detailed application specific things and then under settings here, we can reinforce certain protections on various applications, or we can obviously just select standard. So overall, this is a magnificent application, and it really does teach you where or who is trying to get your data. So if you are somebody who's interested in picking up a phone or even just trying to install this on a phone you already have, I'll go ahead and include links in the description. Uh, they have a whole bunch of refurbished phones with this already installed on it that you could go ahead and purchase directly through them. But they do have some newer phones as well, such as they have a Fairphone model, things like that. So if you're interested, you could go ahead and purchase that down below. Uh, it's shipping from France, so do make sure that the phone you purchase is going to work with whatever carrier you want to use it with. Uh, but with all that said, I do hope you all enjoyed this video. I uh, like it if you did. Go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss future content like this. Uh, with all that said, have a beautiful day and goodbye.